Hi team, how are you? Christina Cavalier here with your weekly lesson. I got a good one for you today. You may not like me for sharing this one with you, but I think it's an important one for those that are looking to lose some weight, clean up their body, and improve their energy. I know most people would love to do that, right? They'd love to lose a couple pounds, they'd love to tighten up a bit, and most importantly, they'd love to spike their energy and have some clarity. So I want to talk about how to do it. Now, you may have heard of some of these techniques before, or this technique before, and you say, man, this requires so much discipline and it has to, um, I have to take away the things that I enjoy eating and that's just not fair, coach. I don't, I don't want to do that. My question is, do you want to lose a few pounds? Do you want to tighten up? And do you want more energy? And if your answer is yes, I'm asking you to do these things with consistency Monday through Friday, and on the weekend you can have a little bit of fun. But I want you to be consistent, focused, and diligent this upcoming week and give this a chance. And realize the more you can do this Monday through Friday for multiple weeks, you're gonna start to see and feel changes in your body. And that's what you want. And it's not really a big ask because it's saying, hey, you can't eat these things but you can eat a lot of these other things and you can eat these other things till the point of fullness, okay? So I'm calling it a challenge, challenge week. We're gonna say it's five days and it's five days of no sugar. No sugar from breads, no sugar from pasta, no sugar from potatoes, uh, no sugar from rice, no sugar from sweets, candy, chocolate, ice cream, okay? So I'm basically asking you to eat clean Monday through Friday, okay? That's what I'm asking for. Can you eat clean Monday through Friday? What does eat clean mean? It means now when you look at your dish and everything you eat, it's either a protein and a vegetable or protein, vegetable, fruit or protein, vegetable, fruit, nuts, seeds. It's all fair game and I'm asking you to do it for five days and then if you really feel like the craving coming back, you can treat yourself on the weekend. All right, it's a simple strategy, but if you can get in the habit of going Monday through Friday eating clean, having a little splurge on the weekend and getting right back to your Monday through Friday, if you do that over the course of let's say three months, and then you can take it four months, five months, your body will naturally clean itself up. And notice how I haven't even talked about exercise yet. This is just a simple way of eating and restructuring how you eat and what your plates should look like so that that's a really good strategy and it's really simple and it's saying hey monday through friday is when you have to do this so it's sort of like in line with your work week and you're competing right because it's a challenge you're competing monday through friday just like you're competing in work business and life monday through friday and you're gonna make your dish look like this so here's your dish right it's this circle piece and then what i do is this i put a line down the middle and this is gonna be our protein because I did a lesson on protein last week that said most people don't take in enough protein. But you're not most people, right? You're champions. So we're gonna make sure you take in enough protein. Coach, how much is enough protein? You take your body weight, divide it by 2.2 and multiply that by 1.0 to 1.5. So anywhere in that range, that'll give you the grams of protein per day and you'll see how short you're coming up. And then what I'll do on this side, right? We could either go straight veg, straight vegetables. Again, you're not dousing these in butter. You're, you know, steaming the vegetables. You can put some olive oil on it. You can mix them with a little bit of garlic and oil. Okay, that works too. For those that are um, not on an oil-free diet. And then the other thing you could do is you could split your plate one more time and you can go veg and you could even add some fruit. And again, when you do this, you're gonna feel full because you're getting the nutrients that you need for survival. If you think about taking in sugars and desserts, you're spiking your insulin and your body is always feeling hungry and you want more of it. Sugar makes you crave more sugar. And that's why you get in this sugar cycle and you can't break out. And it's like, man, I had a couple cookies and now I, I ate the whole box. I can't stop eating these. It's addicting because it is, it's addicting. And, and you have to remember that. So when you start eating like this, meal after meal after meal, protein, veg, carb, protein, veg, carb, or you can even again split this 
this way, I'm gonna give you just a few examples so you can feel like you're getting enough of a portion, right? You got your protein, your veg, and then you can add some fruit. Most people say, but coach, fruit has sugar. Fruit's gonna cause an insulin response. I'm gonna want more sugar. And you gotta realize sugars are, are not treated equal, right? So the fructose from fruit is very different than let's say high fructose corn syrup. It's gonna cause a very different response in your body. But I want you to understand this. I don't know anybody that's gotten fat from eating too much cantaloupe or fat from eating too much watermelon, do you? As a matter of fact, I have a friend that every time he craved something sweet, he would buy watermelon and he'd eat watermelon throughout the week and the watermelon, it killed his sweet tooth and he didn't desire some of those negative sweets. I've also had people do that with mangoes. Again, a little bit of a sweeter fruit, but it sort of says to the body, okay, I took advantage of that craving, but what happened is instead of eating something like a, a donut or a croissant, you were able to take in a nutrient dense fruit, which provided you vitamins and minerals that'll help your overall system work. And when you do this right, the protein, the veg and the fruit, what happens is your body starts to run more efficiently and as a result, you start losing weight and you say, man, I, I, I'm not really doing that much different. I'm not doing that many things different, but my body's starting to shed and it feels really good. And, and you're, you're telling your body, listen, I'm going to supply you with enough nutrients. I'm going to supply you with enough calories and it's okay to dump that excess weight. And that's really what the weight loss process is. It's just a the body trusting that it'll have enough nutrients for survival. And once it knows that it will, it'll start to dump off the extra weight and the extra fat. That's why for those of you that ever gone on an eating plan or diet or, or a workout plan, you'll see in the first week, you'll lose some weight. Sometimes it takes two weeks and then you hit this little plateau because the body says, hey, I'm not sure about this yet. I'm not sure if this is legit. Let me hold on a little bit. And then when you give it freedom, the body says, okay, I'll dump a little bit more. And then you have that next drop and then you hit the next plateau. And that's sort of what the weight loss process looks like. But most people, they quit in a day or two and that's just not enough for the body to, to gain trust that, that it's going to be safe and it's gonna be okay. So do me a favor, for the next five days, give yourself a chance. We're, we're home now. We have the opportunity to schedule our meals and eat at the same time. Proteins, fruits, and veg. Stay with that. Dump the carbs for a week. Tell me how you feel. Give yourself five good days. And I bet you, when Saturday comes around and Sunday comes around, you won't even be craving the things that you think you'll be craving. And you may only be craving them now because you keep giving those things to your body, those sweet, sugary things to your body. And then the body says, okay, I'll have more. Because let's face it, um, if you're taking in too much sugar and taking in too many carbs, the body just wants more. It loves the sugar and the sugar turns to fat. And I tell you who doesn't love the fat and that's, that's you, you know, when you look down and you got a little something extra around the waistline, it's not fun. When the pants are fitting tight, it's not fun. And for those of you that are on a weight loss journey now, this could be the thing that sort of regulates your body and get you right. And that's what I want for you. So that's why I share this weekly lesson. Again, last week we talked about proteins. You can see that video as well. And protein is definitely that nutrient or macronutrient that we do not take in uh, enough of. So get your proteins up, increase your vegetables, greens specifically, increase the fruits because most people are not even taking in enough fruit. And when you basically flood your body. I call it the nutrient flood. The body says, thank you. And it'll start to dump the weight. So simple lesson for you. Dana Cavalier here, Coach Dana Cavalier. I hope you enjoy and I hope you put it into practice and I wish you a great week and I know you'll feel really great at the end. So keep me in the loop. I love to hear from you. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. See ya.